Uh, boost. Get large. Get large. Focus on how big I get. Focus on the good times. 7,300 attack. Can't be targeted nor destroyed by monster effects. Gone. New boss monster, Gaia Drake, the universal force cannot be targeted nor destroyed by monster effects. This is the best way to play it. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Gaia Drake, the universal force, what this card does is it cannot be targeted nor destroyed by monster effects. Notice... Nothing to do with spell or traps, so spell and traps will fully affect this card. So you can't go all in onto this card, otherwise you're going to lose to back row. Also, it's a three-card combo to summon it. And let me tell you this, if you build any deck around a three-card combo, your deck is not going to be good. So what's this deck? This deck does easily summon this, but you have to ensure the rest of your deck is good. If the core focus of your deck is a three-card combo, no good. So with the rest of the deck, this supplements it. It also supplements itself. You could definitely win many duels without the Gaia Drake. That is the rule, I would say, with the three-card combo. Make sure the rest of your deck can win without the three-card combo, but can also perform the three-card combo. Remember that rule when making decks. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck with a crappy highlight deck that's not going to work. Believe me. Now, what's so good about this? How do we summon the Gaia Drake, and why is the rest of the deck good? Gaia Drake requires a Gaia Knight and a non-effect Synchro. So this is the Gaia Knight, and also... The King of the Swamp or the Hex Sealed Fusion is also the Gaia Knight because they are fusion substitute monsters. If you do not have any of these, any fusion substitute monster works. But King of the Swamp is beneficial because you could discard it to add a Polymerization in addition to also being a Gaia Knight. Now, how do we get this Synchro going? We're going to need either a Trumpeteer or a Spore or a Painful Decision. That's nine cards. That's 93% chance on your first turn to be able to summon any of those cards. By summoning any of those cards with having a Palmerization, which is card number two, which we essentially have six of because of King of the Swamp, and having a Hex Sealed or a King of the Swamp, which we have five of. So five, nine, plus six, that three card combo will make your Gaia Drake the Universal Force. How does it work exactly, though? When you normal summon Trumpeteer, it will summon your Dark Verger from the grave to get Synchro in with. Dark Verger is a level 2 non-tuner. When you summon a plant tuner, like a Spore or a Trumpeteer, it will summon onto the field. So a Trumpeteer and the Verger, you could very easily make a Gaia Knight, the Force of the Earth, but you're using it for the non-effect Synchro part, not actually for being a Gaia Knight itself. It just happens to work that way. Painful Decision will mill a Trumpeteer from your deck to add a Trumpeteer. So very consistently grabbing into Trumpeteer. Now, if you don't have the two other card combo to make your Gaia Drake, instead, Trumpeteer will make Archfiend's Call. 2500 attack cannot be targeted by card effects. And we're playing Battle Tuned. Battle Tuned will banish a Trumpeteer from the grave to permanently give any of your monsters plus 1900 attack. So that will give you... A 4,400 attack cannot be targeted by back row or monster effects, so almost as good, maybe even better than Gaia Drake, but we are still focusing on this card, and that is insane with the Battle Tuned. Now, how do we do it with Spore? Summon Spore, trigger the Verger, then you're going to Synchro into your Goyo Defender. Then Spore in the Grave will banish the Verger to summon itself onto the field as a level 3 tuner. Then you can make your Gaia Knight. It's all about making Gaia Knight, then having Palmerization, and then a Fusion Material. Then you get to make your Gaia Drake the Universal Force, which, by the way, is 5,400 attack with a Battle Tuned by banishing a Trumpeteer. We have one last aspect of this deck in addition to making the Archfiend's Call or going into Gaia, into Gaia Drake, and that is Natura Gaius Trio. Gaius Trio is similar to a Cavalry. You discard a card to negate any card that targets a card in the field, and the best way to summon it is you need a Spore and a Palmerization. That's it. 
You summon Spore, you make a Goyo Defender with the Verger in the Grave. Goyo Defender will summon another Goyo Defender. Then you activate Palmerization, which you play six of because you have King of the Swamp. And then you get to make your Gaius Trio. It's sometimes good to go into this first, then follow up with the Gaia Drake. And that is the deck. Not focusing too much on the Gaia Drake while still consistently summoning it. It is a three card combo. Clap them fools with Battle Tuned onto your Archfiend's Call and Gaia Drake the Universal Force. Here we go. We got the three card combo. Three card combo is here. Where's the room? I'll be hopping into it after this. Let's go. Painful decision. This decision is not too painful. Send the Trumpeteer, add the Trumpeteer. The pro the main problem with this right here is I don't really want to summon the Gaia Drake. That's the true issue. That's the problem. That going for this doesn't look as good as this. That is the problem. 54. We got lethal with it. So let's just summon it. I want to summon this, but we're going to go for this. Okay, let's go. We Q? Are we Q? Palmerization! Let's go! Understand that. That us almost not wanting to go into the combo shows how good the rest of the deck is while still being able to go into the combo. That's what you want. You don't want the combo to be your only play, your last resort, the only way to play the deck, because then your deck is going to struggle. Dried wins! <laughs> You fool! Best way to play! Gaia Drake, the Universal Force! Let's go! Buh! Boost! Boost it up! Let's get boosting! The rest of the deck is actually good on its own! Back to Fortnite! Yeah, buddy! Don't build your deck based off three card combos, it doesn't work! You gotta have it as the extra spice. You gotta make sure the rest of the deck is good, stands on its own, then if you draw that third card to make that combo happen, then you make it happen. Just like that. We'll spore it up. We'll spore it up. We'll do it spore. We'll give up the we'll give up everything. So we'll still have the trumpets here for a follow-up with the battle tuned, okay? Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Defender, defend. Get defending. Y'all want to summon a cavalry? Does it look like we have room to summon cavalry in the extra deck? The extra deck is tight. Very tight. All righty. Last chance. Gaia Drake. Let's go. Universal Force. Can't be targeted nor destroyed by monster effects. Once a turn, if they're all Earth, Warrior, Synchros, that wouldn't work. You crazy. Painful decision. Lego! Attack! Gaia Drake, the Universal Force? Enemy controller? What the? Okay. We are completely vulnerable to back row with this card. Uh oh. It's time to get fusion, huh? We survive a twin, we survive a rampage dragon, we survive it all. What we don't survive is an overflow. 
What's the out to Gaia? Literally any back row card. All the back row. Any back row. Every back row. But that's not an out. 2,800 defense. Be large and in charge. <laughs> that's it. Nope. Thank you for the love tap. Let's get going. Let's get going. Wow, really? Really? The verger's gone. Because we did it for the spore. So let's just have lethal with the trumpeteer. Okay? Okay? Trumpeteer, we gave it all up just to make this play. Floodgate? Wow. Wow! Gaia Drake Universal Force. Attack! We're about to win our worst matchup. Giddy up, giddy up. Core? Uh-oh. 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 Overflow. Uh-oh. Is this the end of Gaia Drake, the Universal Force? Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Trumpeteer, I choose you. Attack! Universal Force. Lethal! Yes! This is not that duel. This is not that duel. So even with... This is incredible. This is why you have to make a good deck around a three-card combo. You can't focus on the three-card combo. Because look. Look at this. We have 4,400 attack with the battle tune. It's a permanent buff boost, cannot be targeted by card effects. And we got combo piece number one, two, and we just need a king of the swamp. And we could still make the Gaia, the ultimate Gaia, while the deck is still good. Let's go. This is literally an obelisk. Literally a god card. Trizzle XO, thank you so much for the support. Give me. We draw Lance, I swear we're taking it out. Don't you dare. Come to me. Well, hello there. Let's go. Rise. Welcome to the best way to play. Palmerization. Gaia Drake, the universal force. I call upon thee. Let's clap, said Okaiba. Cannot be targeted by monster effects, nor be destroyed by them. Attack! Master with eyes of blue. Wipe it out. Archfiend's call. Attack! Ba, boost, Bonish, boost it up, 4,400, and he's got a kite roid. It's far from over. How do you stop two ultimate boss monsters on the field? Could not be targeted by or destroyed by the effects of effect monsters. While we have Archfiend's Call could not be targeted by anything. Gaia Drake, the Universal Force. Giddy up. <laughs> so many kite roids. So many kite roids. You can't stop all my attacks. Two more turns, it's over. Let's go. Focus. Yes! Best way to play.